Hey, what's up guys, Tommy up with Ingrid. So today I'm gonna show you how to collect great standard footage. I believe you feel like you are very limited when you come to standard footage compared to a log footage because a log footage you have a wide dynamic range where you can do your color grading and you can do any kind of grading, any kind of cinematic like that you want to get. But with standard footage you are very limited in terms of dynamic range and how far you can go with your color grading. So today I'm going to show you how, how possible can it be for you to color grade your footage to be closer to any cinematic look. And before we get into the color grading, these are the few tips that you need to take note. I think it's best to really customize your white balance. It also depends on the kind of camera you're using, if you're using the Canon, if you're using a Sony and all that. Just make sure that you customize your white balance before you press the record button. That will save you hard work and not spending time trying to fix things that you could have done straight from the camera. So before wasting any time, you're just gonna jump into the Vince Resolve and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Alright guys, here we are in the Vince Resolve. This footage is a footage from my recent three that I shot recently. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. And let me just bring all this down so you guys can see. This image is straight from the camera. Like I said, you need to customize your white balance so that you don't have a lot of work to do in post. All right, so what we're gonna do now, uh, just, I'm just gonna save this uh, still image and now we're just gonna delete all the nodes. We're gonna save from scratch. Just gonna have my notes there, there we go. So, all right guys, there's one thing that I didn't mention in the video is, all right guys, let's pause it here. I forgot to mention something from the beginning of the video. What I'm going to show today is how to use the answer, which is a plugin for DaVinci Resolve and all these other software. And I'm also going to show you how you're going to use Color Space Transform to also get a cinematic look that you can use in the video. All right, let's get back. That we're going to be using the answer Pro. The answer Pro is a plugin for DaVinci Resolve. So you can get that. Uh, that plugin is really an amazing plugin that you can use and it's gonna do, it's gonna help you to solve a lot of issues when it comes to color grading. Alright, so what one thing we're gonna do now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use the plugin and just gonna find it down here. There we go, the handsome pro. Just gonna add, as you, soon as you drag that down there you can see uh, there's a lot of change in the footage. But one thing that I've realized about it since like uh, the video that I'm using uh, was shot on a standard camera which doesn't have any log or anything like that. But it can still be useful if you know how to use it. As we go on the source and then uh, let's say we choose the Ray 7 and we don't get any chance to choose the camera or the format. So we just, this is the limitation that we have by using this kind of camera. So what, what are we going to do now? So the easy way to do now, they have a lot of film look that you can use and the one that I feel like it can really work for this one because I wanted to have like a cool uh, sort of uh, grading. So I'm just going to go up and just choose the one I feel like can really help me in this in this scenario. Alright, I'm just going to go for Fuji, I don't know how you can call this crazy name. Alright, I'm just going to go for this one. As you can see, it's not really as one I wanted to do but we're going to do a little bit of picking. So by checking out our parade, you can see that uh, my shadow is not really good. The one thing that you can do, we can scroll down to the to the uh, black point and the white point. So we're just gonna bring down, just gonna bring down a white point, and we're getting a little bit of shadows in there. And we also have our white, uh, which is is the same as our gain. So I'm um, just gonna bring the shadow down a little bit bring it down a little bit just want to try to get a little bit of shadows in there it also depends on the kind of look that you want to go and i'm just going to also bring my white down a little bit as you know we're going for a film look so not too much bright not too much contrast just keep it simple all right as and i can see we have a little bit of grain in there so i'm just going to bring down the grain as well so if you go down on the grain we have the film extend we have print I'm just gonna go down there we have film grain I'm just gonna bring it down and I'm gonna leave the size by one so there's nothing we can change into that if you want to bring down all the grain it's up to you I'm just gonna bring the grain down again and on the color head the color head is where you can really try to create the kind of look that you want to go for the look that I'm, I'm actually looking for is just to create a little bit of cold into that so I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit trying to mix all the and then the red 
All right, I feel like we're almost there. So there's one thing that I want you guys to see. I had to just bring my notes before I start doing my color grading. As you can see, that uh, as soon as I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to have my grading, you can see that I'm, I'm losing my skin tone and all the details. Reason why I've created a note here. And on this note, this is the note where we're gonna do our skin tone. So we're just gonna come to, uh, we're gonna come to color preset and we're gonna go to red. And if I have to bring down this just to, uh, to see the red that, that, I've that I've selected, which is my skin tone, and I, if I have to go on my offset and try just to bring it up a little bit, you can see that we're getting the details back. We can get we're getting the details back. And don't just jump into uh, bringing back your skin tone. One thing that you need to know, you need to use the scope. Just, I'm just gonna bring my scope to see if I'm really in the right way when I'm doing that. Just gonna have our scope. All right, and there we go. So as you can see, we almost going out of the way. We have a little bit of red, and this red that you see is from the the pen, the pen that is is holding you to the drawing and all that. But our skin tone is somewhere here. So I'm just gonna bring it back a little bit and up a bit, and as you can see, we got our skin tone. And I can see that the grain is, is sort of too bluish, but we're gonna fix that. I think the problem is in the shadows. So we're gonna bring back our shadows. And this is why we have a, uh, we have a, the DNs plugin. And here I'm gonna try to fix most of the most of the shadows, which is really blue in uh, in the grading. So I'm gonna go to the log wheel. If you come on the log wheel on the shadows, and if you begin to bring down. The blue channel, you can see that uh, we, we're actually fixing a lot of issues in the shadows and we're getting back our color, our grading. And I'm also gonna bring bring down the, the, the green uh, as well and also bring up a little bit of the red. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna go back to my, I'm gonna go back to the uh, ENS plugin. I'm gonna bring just try to see because I'm not really happy with the grading until I get something that I want however I think this is this is really good so we can see from before and after how far we have just gotten by using this simple noise and it's really simple so if we zoom in you can see there's a lot of bit of noise in there this is just a mix up with grain and noise and I have my noise already so I'm just gonna come uh, you know, I'm just gonna come to the motion effects and on the frames we're gonna use three and I'm gonna choose better. And now on the Luma, I'm gonna go about six. On the Chroma, let's just go about 12. And I'm also gonna have like five and then six. And we can see the difference. Let me just zoom in there. Can you just see the before and after? Bingo. And we're good to go. All right guys, you can see this was really simple just by using this uh, this amazing plugin but how can you also do this if you don't have the plugin how can you do that all right so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna and this last note is where i'm gonna put my sharpness and i'll do that at the end of the video so i'm just gonna remove this plugin i'm just gonna remove uh just gonna reset this note and then boom we lost our details and everything is gone so on this note i'm gonna use a transform note i'm gonna use a transform note all right, we're gonna drag in our color space from Storm. So this is just an amazing technique that I'm gonna show you guys and I hope it's gonna help you. So if you don't have the Dehancer plugin, you can also use this, which is really also an amazing way you can also do your grading using any standard grade. So one thing that you're gonna do on the input color space, you're gonna go down and use Ray 7, uh, Ray 7 20, and then you're gonna, on the uh, input gamer, you're gonna use, uh, you're gonna go down and you're gonna use, um, you're gonna use this one you can see uh the the grading it's popping up and then uh, the output space you're gonna use you're gonna use red 79 you're gonna use red 79 and also on the on the output gamer you're gonna go to all right as you can see we have a flat profile this is really flat so we're gonna create another note here yeah? we're gonna create another note and i'm gonna begin to bring down all the shadows and all the details that we have lost if you check the parade we have there's a little bit issues in the shadows everything just went up so we need to fix that so we're gonna come on the we're gonna come on the gain we're gonna bring the gain down 
and also want to bring the lift down a little bit oh not too much this is what i was saying guys when you're using footage that have no dynamic range and they're not log footage this is what you get so i'm just gonna bring it down let's go down slowly come on so little by little again a little bit and also trying to bring bring up the game little bit all right there we go so guys this was a quick way just to show you how we can do this but we're not done and we have just to fix our green channel and also our blue channel we need to fix all that stuff so that we can get that cinematic cinematic uh grading that we want to have so i'm gonna go on the logo i'm gonna go on the logo i'm gonna bring down my shadows on the green on the uh blue channel also on the great channel just look what we get this is so so amazing and as you can see we don't have to do much especially on the skin tone and all that and the rest is just up to you how you want to tweak and get the kind of look that you want to get just by using uh color color space transform audiences if you, if they if you have the money to pay for the plugin which can really help you to solve a lot of issues so now we're gonna add our sharpness into them i'm gonna bring my sharpness I bring my sharpness and also on the scaling I bring it to 20 and then there we go now we have the before and after this was really amazing and really pretty so you can just take a note of all this setup that you can use on the on the standard footage that you're gonna have and I hope this tutorial really help you if you guys want to see more tutorial like this how you can really color grade your standard footage I'm, I'm here to help you guys and don't forget to subscribe check out my recent uh, documentary that are on my youtube channel uh leave a comment down that i can really help me to also increase my skills i uh, hope this video really helped you and i will be seeing you guys next time please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and also share see you in the next video bye bye